Encinitas. Encinitas Ranch to be exact. We're in court. We were just over here the other day looking at another place. This place hit the market three days ago at $8.99. We're going to be lucky if there's a lockbox on it. If there is, it's going to be on the third car garage like this said. There we go. This place, I don't even know why I'm showing it, just kind of filming it to film it, and I'm here. Uh, four days in the market, $8.99, five bedroom. Pending already. That shows you when people are looking right now, it's actually really nice looking from the outside. Real shiny white. It has that cool Mediterranean feel to it. Uh, everybody loves Encinitas Ranch. Hello, real estate agent. Nice, bright unit when you're walking. Look at the ceilings. All right, we'll start off on the right here. Got a separate full bedroom. A little cove for you know, your entertainment center or whatever. Closet, storage under the stairs. Small bathroom. Looks all original, which isn't that old. This room is great. Nice room to walk into. Let's keep going back this way. So four days on the market and already pending. It is on a nice little cul-de-sac. Nice granite. Nice cabinet right here. Nice size pantry. Yeah, there's a reason this went pending. Sub Z, all Viking. The Viking oven, I can never figure out how to work. It's the same one I have myself. Actually, it's all the same appliance package I have, and I can't figure out that oven to save my life. Nice big chunk of granite. Step back and look at it. So this area back here must have been the formal dining. This is a breezeway over to the formal dining area. The formal dining will be pretty much as you walk in, you'll be able to see it. This is your everyday kitchen area. It's a little tight once you add chairs and the door. Wow, nice little spot over here. No neighbors behind you. It doesn't feel tucked in, and a lot of these places in Encinitas Ranch are really close together. No privacy. This place has a lot of privacy. You can see the neighbor's house here, but you have to really go over here and look for it. Um, no grass, no backyard, all hardscape. Nice easy maintenance. Right, let's head on upstairs. Right. Oh, we didn't go this way. Let's head this way. So we go right here. Another closet. So here's your entrance way. Right there, just see so refresh. You have a bathroom down here, which is nice. It's not by the front door when you walk in. You've got your two car garage over here. Put your window treatments down, you're not going to see that, are you? Yeah. 
It's a bedroom at the top of the stairs. Pretty standard issue. Nice plantation shutters. Cool little alcove, look down back. So a little Jack and Jill between the two bedrooms. Oh, so it's a little trail down there. So a little Jack and Jill back here. Got your laundry upstairs. This place has everything going for it, doesn't it? That's your entry into the master. Oh. Yeah, talk about, I mean, you could frame this. Look at that. Sweet. How's that for a view to wake up to every day? Master is about average size. It's on the smaller side, but it's still early to say that. Let's see. Your master bath, on the other hand, why is this guy? I hate carpet in here. Nice built in shower, nice tile work. Dual closets, nice cool little, little spot right here next to the tub. His and hers. Oh, I'm about out of film. That's it. Eight minutes long for this one. It's a great, great, beautiful house. Gorgeous house. That's it, Pete. Was it real estate? Try to limp this thing right into the end on the way out. I can, didn't show you the first garage, but you get the point. They're all the same. It's garage or garage.